Hello guys, today in this video I will try just to show you how I put my colorful lines in order to trade. But understand that what I put here, what I put here today, is just uh, explanation how I put the lines, but it, it didn't show you uh, how I uh, how I select the stock or which the criteria I use. But I just uh, give you an idea. Now let's say this is the resistance line. This is the line is here. I put it with blue. Okay. Let's say let's say I bought the stock here. If I bought the stock here at this price, you see here, for example, 1974, this is where I bought. I put it with the green. And let's say I put my stop loss here. I put it with red, stop loss. Okay. Let's say the, the support line, let's say I put it with yellow. This is just, uh, this is just colors, okay? Colors that shows me my setup. Let's say today, let's say today we are here, we are in this stock, we are in this uh, candlestick, which is 26 October, 2017. Let's say I, I find the Twitter and I want to buy it here, okay? So I put the green line and uh, the green line is where I bought. So if you, if you click, the green line you click it, it it says to you either remove it or edit now let's say you put edit edit it means it, it tells you or you should put the price that you bought the stock at which price 1947 1974 is where I bought the stock if it is correct you say okay if it is not go to your broker and see what is the price that you bought for example right now you just bought the stock you put this line, you put this green line, and you put the correct price from your broker. You bought it, for example, $19.74. This is the price. You put it, you put the green color, because this is, the green it means the price I bought the stock in. Then you hit OK. Now in the future, if the stock is going up, I know when I see the green, I know that the, the, if it is going, the stock going up, I understand that I am making money. Now, if the, if the stock is going under the green, it means I am losing money. If it reach the, uh, this price, which is the uh, uh, stop loss price here, let's say the stop price is at $18.41, okay? It is red. It means if the stock reaches this red, I am out. It means I exit the trade. I know from my broker that exit the trade without going even to the broker. Now, uh, there is a line, it's just an idea that this is the highest that the stock has, has reached. And the support line, this is the lowest in these days. The lowest point is the support line. But uh, I'm not going to show you here because this is part of the training where uh, how do I select stocks? What are the criteria and which, which chart I use? Okay, but this is the four major lines. But, but, after a few days, I will delete two lines that I don't need them anymore. I delete the support, uh, the resistance line, and I delete the support line. So what is left for me? Only when I bought, where is my stop loss? Now let's say the stock has been going up and you want to change it. You change it, for example, let's say here. Now you, you change it here and you think that this is the right stop loss here. Okay, because the stock is going up, it might go, go, go down. So you put it here. What you should do, you should click on the price and say edit. Let's say I want $20.36. Well, what does it mean? It means I should go to my broker and change the stop loss. I change it from what was here, I change it to here. Okay, so the line you can just uh, just move it, just click on it, click on it and move it wherever you want to. But understand that you should go to your broker and and put the price, let's say twenty dollars thirty six. 
if the stock is going down and reach this line, it means I will be exiting the trade. Okay? These are the four lines that I showed you that I use in my, uh, in my uh, trading. So what should I do always is I plan the trade before even I trade. Okay? This is the most important thing. Okay? So, uh, this is in general how I trade. Let's say, uh, let's say, uh, I give you another scenario with Google, with Facebook for me, for many months. Let, let's say, let's say, <laughs> just an example, I bought the stock here, which is the green. Okay, just give you an idea. Now, at the beginning, when I begin, the stop loss was here. Okay, just an example. But as you might, the stock has been going up, going up. I changed my stop loss here. Let's say I changed here. So, what do you have? Let's say I bought the stock here in this day, which is, if you click this day here, click just this uh, edit. Okay, so if you click, you will see that this day, let's say it is 31st of January, I bought the stock at uh, $130.32. Now the stop, lo stop loss was here, was under. This is the first I begin the trade. Now let's say after one month, two months, three months, this is how I follow the trade. Uh, there are techniques to, sh to show you how to do it. Now let's say now, my stop loss or to exit the trade is here if the stock go down and hit my stop loss i will end this trade and i will this trend you can say this trend and this trend okay i have all this trend showing me where i bought what is the price where is my stop loss or my uh, exit uh, price and this is the trend the trend it is not important i don't use it i just here i just show you that the stock is going up for a long time okay remove so for me i'm using two lines that are so important for me it's just what i bought what i said this is the two prices that i need now you tell me for example why do you need this because it's a long time yes i need it I want just to know which price exactly I bought the stock, okay? And I know exactly which day I bought the stock. So this chart that you see here, you don't need your broker to check every minute or every day or every week. If you do this chart like me, you will save a long or a lot of time and uh, it will be very good for you. That's why we use the chart. We use the chart to make it easy for us to see everything about the trade. And this setup, you can do it for every trade that you have. And this is how I plan, this is how I make money, and this is, this is what I teach, okay? But I understand that there are techniques, you know, a lot of techniques going through, uh, so uh, this is uh, the thing that are, that are skills that you should learn in order to know uh, how to move, how to follow the stop loss, um, how, how to follow the, the trend and not to exit early. For example, if you, if you put the resistor line here and then you exit, and you make some money, yes, it's, it's good that you make some money, but uh, you, you left the whole trend money for other traders and you, you just take a little bit. Because you rush, you don't want to wait until you see the big thing. And that's why most of the beginners, they don't make money because they don't wait. But not all the stocks are doing like Facebook or like other stocks, okay? Not all of them. So you need to uh, follow the trend until it stops. As you can see, Facebook here, from the January to November, at the end of November 24th, it's still going up and it's making a lot of money for everybody who was here uh, this month. 
and this is a short term trade it means uh, we are not going to to trade uh, the whole years because this is called investing and investing you should look at other things like the company uh, uh, making money yes or no the earnings and uh, uh, you will see a balance sheet you will see a lot of stuff in order to invest in a stock but we here we are not investing we are just doing short term trade uh, two months six months seven months eight months but you don't go beyond one year okay you don't go be, be, uh, one, be, uh, above one year because at that time you begin to invest in this and if you invest in this and the stock will begin will begin to go down it will be eating your profits because if the stock let's say the stock here it stops and it's going down it will be eating your profits if you don't put stop loss but when we put stop loss why we put a stop loss here is just to exit on time if the stock is not doing well and the stock is going down we exit uh, we exit and I, I told you this is the stop loss or it's not called uh, stop loss anymore but it is the exit price because the stop loss is when it is going down your your purchase price it is just uh, when we say change the stop loss it means just change the price where you want to exit now it is called the exit price but you don't if the stock is going up don't stop it for example i will just give you an example uh, you say to yourself oh the stock is uh, today friday 24th of november it is 182 dollars 78 cents if it reaches, for example 192 i will say no don't don't stop the stock never 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 stop the stock because you can stop it here like some people do and they say okay um uh, i will stop at 10 percent if the stock has gone 70 percent or 80 percent or 100 percent why why you stop the stock here there target price is not good in swing trading or short term trading i have never done a target price i will never do that because the stock is going up so why should why should I stop it why should I exit where the people are it's like when there is a party it begins from 8 o'clock it it will end at 2 a.m. and you at 10 o'clock or 11 you leave why you should leave where the party is it means you are still having fun you are you are making money so why you should e uh, exit Be this is most of the time beginners they are scared they are scared to stay more and this is a problem that you should overcome when you become a very good uh, when you become a very good um, very good uh, trader okay so this is the most uh, uh, important thing so here uh, write a note if you click on that it's just to write whatever about this this for example you want to send this uh, chart to someone else you say okay uh, this chart is very good like this you just write a note for him and then you uh, post okay uh, and save save image of this chart okay save image it means if you want to uh, save this image to your computer you click that and it goes uh, to your computer if you want to share it on your wall this chart you just click uh, facebook so it says uh, looks like this is your first time posting a chart to your wall please take a moment to log into your facebook account you you, uh, you say okay you lo log into your account and you let's say you want this chart that it is so good and you send it to facebook your friends okay or you can uh, put, uh, send it to, uh, for Twitter and uh, export chart data. Okay. Choose fields of export. You export the data to your uh, uh, to your computer console and uh, clear uh, create reminder for Facebook. Create price alert for Facebook now well, what does it mean this clear uh, create price alert let's say the stock is 182.78 uh, 
you put an alert price let's say 183.50 just you want to exit or you want to buy more or whatever you want to do alert me only once expires one month it means this this alert will stay one month if the stock goes to 183 dollars 50 cent it will send you uh, an alert in the chart here it will, it will be a red and it will show you okay and you write uh, for example a note for this okay so thank you very much for watching uh, this series of uh, um, of the chart and uh, we will continue uh, uh, with another video